How to Rev All an Android CPU in 7 Simple Steps Today I'll walk you through 7 simple steps to rev all an Android CPU. So let's get started. Step 1. Cutting the adhesive First, secure the motherboard in a jig and scrape off the thermal paste from the top of the CPU. Now cut around the edge of the CPU. Most modern chips are sealed with adhesive, so this step is crucial. When using the hot air gun, don't blast continuously. Use a pulsing motion, heat, pause, heat, pause. This makes it much safer, especially for beginners. Be gentle when cutting. Avoid damaging the flex cables or board traces. Apply just enough force, not too hard, not too soft. Step two, preheating the board. Heat the entire board focusing especially around the CPU area. Make sure you're heating along the outline of the board, not just randomly. I usually heat for about two to three minutes at 290 degrees Celsius. Step three, removing the CPU. Switch to a narrow blade, specifically designed for lifting CPUs. Start by prying up the metal shield from the top. Slip the blade under the edge and gently pop it up. Raise the heat to 320 degrees Celsius and slowly work your way in. Don't force it. Let the heat do the job. Keep the hot air nozzle moving with the blade. Move slowly around the edges. Once the top cap is off, move on to the CPU die. Find a larger gap on the right side. This makes it safer and avoids hitting nearby components. Again, move the blade and hot air together. Gently work around the chip until it's free. Step four, cleaning the motherboard. Now clean off all the leftover solder and adhesive on the board. Start by applying low temperature solder to neutralize the old high temp solder. Otherwise, the desoldering braid won't work smoothly. Use the braid to clean the pads while also removing any glue. This can take a while, so be patient. This is one of the most time consuming steps. Keep the braid within your field of view while working. For stubborn areas, you can use a soldering iron tip or even a scalpel blade, aka surgical leaf blade, to scrape gently. Once clean, apply flux and run the braid again to flatten the pads. If you're new to this, you may need to repeat the process a few times. What matters most is a clean, flat surface. Now wipe everything down with PCB cleaner and cotton until it's spotless and shiny. Step five, cleaning the CPU. Let's clean the CPU starting with the top cover. 
which includes the RAM. Apply low temp solder and quickly drag with a soldering iron. Don't stay in one spot too long or you risk overheating the chips. Android CPUs are more heat tolerant, but Apple chips are very sensitive. So develop the habit of moving quickly. Use the braid to flatten the pads. Work in a tap and lift rhythm. Wipe clean with PCB cleaner. Get rid of any remaining adhesive. Now move on to the CPU core. Repeat the same process. Apply low temp solder to neutralize the old high temp one. And clean off with the braid. As you heat it, the adhesive will soften and come off more easily. Use a plastic scraper if needed, but don't scratch the protective coat. Apply a bit of flux and run the braid to flatten the pads again. Let it cool with a fan, then clean it thoroughly with PCB paint. Now clean the front side of the CPU using the same technique. Low temp solder to loosen any glue, quick braid strokes, and a final wipe. If you don't clean it thoroughly, the solder won't stick during reballing. This is a common mistake among beginners. Reballing the CPU. Align the solder stencil with the top left corner of the chip. Before applying solder paste, blot it with tissue or white paper to remove moisture. This makes it easier to spread. Spread the solder paste slowly and evenly over the stencil. Once done, wipe the surface gently. Now use a hot air gun at 330 degrees Celsius and airflow 100 to reflow the solder balls. It's incredibly satisfying to watch. Add a bit of flux and reflow again to make sure the solder joints are firm and clean. If some solder balls are slightly off-center, reflow again to let them self-align. Repeat the same process to rev all the top cap. It's much easier. Just make sure it's clean beforehand. Use the same settings. Three hundred twenty degrees Celsius and one hundred airflow. Stop.
Step seven, installing the CPU. Use Rosin Flux to whiten the pads on the board. Rosin works even better than standard flux. But for extra security, still apply a few drops of regular flux. It adds a bit of ritual to the process. Place the CPU in position. Lower the heat to 300 to 320 degrees Celsius. Don't go too high, or the chip may fail later. As you heat it, the CPU will slightly shift into place. That's the sign it's properly aligned. In the video, the heating time is short, but in real repairs, you should heat for over a minute. Cool it down with a fan, and you're done. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You're well on your way to mastering Android CPU revolver.